Welcome back to channel 37. It's only a few hours now until I board a plane to America and I will be going by myself as Casper cannot join me due to corona restrictions. So we thought we should squeeze in another video right before we leave and I'll give you a hint about what this might be. It is in the name of one of my favorite Radiohead songs. Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. Burn the... Witch? Yes, okay. Inside this box is the new Witch by Bafaco and Rebel Technology. And we received an advanced copy to try it out and show you guys how to build it at home. Shall we unleash the Witch? Alohomora. <laughs> Let's look what's inside. What is that, Lily? It's another Bifaco rape whistle. We should bring that when we go to Barcelona for the Bifaco modular synth weekend. Absolutely. We have two stereo to mono splitters, one USB cable. Looks like we have the feet for our witch. This must be the owl board, which comes pre-populated and it's basically a powerful processor that can run different pure data patches. The knobs. We have the jacks and bananas. Here are the potentiometers, the LEDs and the ICs. We're gonna have to ask Manu one of these days why some parts end up in bag A or bag B. <laughs> like, is there a competition or something? I think it's the naughty and nice list. Wow, that's a really nice design. This is an amazing design. It would fit into any kind of tarot aesthetic. And is the case solid aluminum? It is, it's, a, it's got some heft to it. I really appreciate that. So here is the instruction kit, and inside we have the PCBs, which you'll have to separate yourself, and the front panel, which is just absolutely beautiful. Which is beautiful? <laughs> which is beautiful. And we get a Rebel Tech sticker, so we can represent Martin, and an Allen wrench, so we can assemble some reasonably priced Swedish furniture. <laughs> I'm really excited about this kit. The only thing I'm a little bummed by is that we don't have to solder the surface mount parts. Because have a look at this. At the heart of the witch is an owl board by Rebel Tech. I guess a lot of digital modules make use of the Teensy, which is also basically a small computer that can run audio software. And the cool thing about Martin is that he has designed his own board, which is really optimized for its role in a modular rack. Mm -hmm. This opens up a world of new possibilities for sounds in the Euro rack, also because the whole community can program these patches. So it's kind of an open source attitude towards digital module design. It also gives those with an interest in programming to hone these skills in um, an environment where they'll see the results immediately. This is a four engine polyphonic synthesizer, which is really exciting because it allows for building a harmonic structure just within one module, which is something very new and exciting to me. Yeah, most of the modular is monophonic actually. Yeah, exactly. And you always kind of want to create more harmonic complexity. Yeah, I'm searching for more richness and I think yeah. this will really deliver in that realm. Yeah. Are you jealous that I get to build all of this? I'm a bit jealous, but not too much because I get to go home and work on my pilot's license in the States. Well, I think this will be pretty good company for the weeks to come. So we're going to cut to a build video. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. It would support us a lot. This is everything you need to build the kit. Start by cleaning the PCB. Then measure the values of all resistors and bend them in shape. Start by inserting 10 100 ohm resistors. Then 14 560 ohm resistors. Then 8 1K resistors. As well as 8 100K resistors. Six 5.1K resistors and six 10K resistors. Four 33K resistors. 
and four fifty one K resistors and four one M resistors. 2 22 ohm resistors and two 2K resistors. Now solder everything into place from above. Next up are the eight blue diodes. These are polarized, so orient the part as indicated on the PCB. And one big black diode. Solder everything into place. These are four 220P capacitors. four 2.2N capacitors and four 10N capacitors. Three yellow 100N capacitors, two blue 4.7N capacitors, two 1NF capacitors. And finally, eight 10UF capacitors. These are two X20 fuses. Next up are six transistors. Orient them as indicated on the silk screen. A little voltage regulator block. Now we place the IC sockets. Solder a corner pin first, make sure they're flush, then solder the rest. This is a good time to remove the side rails. Use tape and a vacuum cleaner to avoid any glass splinters. We continue with the control board. Place the screw and spacer. Then cut male and female pin headers and join them together. Place the two 10 pin headers and mount the smaller PCB. Solder one corner pin on both headers on both sides. Then make sure the board is mounted flush. When the board is mounted flush, you can solder all the remaining pins in the headers. Now cut and join all remaining pin headers. Place the pin headers as indicated in this close-up. Then mount the owl board. Again, solder one corner pin at a time. When the board is flush, solder all remaining pins. Clean any residual flux. Next, we mount the USB connectors. Power connector, two green stereo jacks, 12 black jacks, four LED push buttons. Use a small plastic nipple to align them. The small button and button cap and five potentiometers, adding a nut on each. And eight LEDs. Then place the front panel and attach two nuts. Use sticky tape to hold the LEDs flush with the front panel. Then solder the LEDs, then all other control hardware. Remove the front panel and give the PCB a final wash. Now place the two ICs. Make sure to align them with the IC holders. Roll the legs on the table to flatten them. Then replace the front panel and add all other nuts. Place the PCB in the aluminum case. Fix it with the four hex nuts. Turn down the potentiometers and place the knobs. Give your witch some feet and she's done. And that's how you build a witch. Nearly all sounds in the music during the build video were created or processed with the witch. So it's a very versatile device. And now let's review the witch ballroom style. The first category is the face category. How good does it look? I really like this black, somewhat esoteric aesthetic. I also like the raised print on the front panel 
And I find it very convenient that the red banner nuts indicate which of the jacks are output sockets. So the witch gets a 10 for face. The next category is the crave category. How much do we want it? Now this is a slight deviation from our usual Eurorack DIY because it's a standalone device. But still, I'm really happy to have it in our studio because this opens the door to a world of digital synthesizer patches that we can try out, take for a spin by loading them onto the witch and just patching them into our existing setup. So I really wanted one of these, basically any OWL devices in our setup. So thank you Manu from Befaco and Martin from Rebeltech for making that possible. The next category is the groove category. How easy is it to make music with it? The upside is that the witch is extremely versatile. So a lot of the sounds during the demo were made with a basic subtractive synthesis patch that comes preloaded when you receive your witch. And then I just experimented with a lot of different patches that I found on the Rebel Tech patch archive. One of my favorite patches was the Wrangler inspired by Rob Hordijk, which generates these crazy bursts of noise uh, that was really fun to use in different patches. I also used Purple Rain, which is kind of a bit crusher. I also used the Owl Shimmer Reverb and the Quad Sampler for the drums. But there are also a few things to take into consideration as for the jammability of this device. And the first thing is that there are no displays on here. The most convenient way to use it is to have your device connected with a website where you can load patches onto your device and it has a diagram that shows you what parameters of the patch are controlled by the different buttons and potentiometers. I, on the other hand, have an air-capped studio computer that is not connected to the internet. So I had to preload patches onto the witch and then take notes on what parameters of the patch were controlled by the different knobs. So the ideal situation is to have it connected by USB to a studio computer with internet and have the Rebel Tech patch database open in your browser. If you do want an OWL device with a screen, you can check out the Rebel Tech website and look for the Magus. That's basically a large, powerful version of the Witch with an OLED screen. One situation that I haven't tried out, but which sounds like a lot of fun, is using the Witch as an outboard development environment for your own Pure Data, Max MSP and C++ audio patches. If you're into that kind of thing, this is almost an essential tool to help you develop audio patches more interactively. Then the final category is the noob category. How easy is it to build? This thing took me about 30, 40 minutes to build. It was extremely easy. So it's very beginner friendly. There are just two things to pay attention to when you're building your witch. The first is that you have to pay really close attention to the positioning of the pin headers for the OWL breakout board. So we included a close-up of the positioning of those pin headers in the build video. And the second thing is that you have to pay really close attention to the labeling of the capacitors. The build guide actually warns you about it and I recommend that you get a magnifying glass or a microscope if you have that and really determine what the values of each of the capacitors are. Also because the fuses look very similar to a capacitor and I may or may not have soldered those in the wrong position. Finally, if you have an old version of the build guide, pay close attention. In the old version of the build guide, it said that you have to calibrate the witch. This is not true. That's a hangover from the build guide for the lich, which does need to be calibrated. The witch is ready to go once you put down your soldering iron. This has been our video of the witch. I can't wait until Lily returns so we can make some more dynamic content together. Thank you for watching this. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It would really support us and help us make more of these videos for you guys. See you next time.